Hello copy, welcome to your mid-monthly reading. It's going to be for the month of September 2020. And today we're doing something a little different. I'm going to start with some love because Mars, uh, with some self-love, because Mars just started going retrograde. So I can already feel the craziness happening. And we should connect with more with our Venus side um, to get a little bit more balanced during this period. And then we're going to take a look at the most important messages, what you need to hear the most right now in finances and career, and love, okay? So as always, uh, this may not resonate with everyone. Always take what resonates. Leave what doesn't. Ooh, this one's come out too. Um, and the worlds could be reversed, okay? But if this doesn't resonate, feel free to check your other signs. But if it, this does, comment down below, subscribe, and like. So yeah, I think that's it. All right, so let's start with the love and then we'll get to those cards. Water, 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 water. Hydrate, drink, drink a lot of water, okay? If you can, connect with the ocean, okay? Swim, uh, whatever, whatever you can do with water, be sure to do it, okay? I feel like you and water are going to be very uh, one. I don't know if that makes sense to you, but I kind of feel like you like water. Um, it's not something that you... Hey, like for example, the beach or a swimming pool. I feel like you like going to the water. Uh, so be sure to do that, okay? Be sure to connect with that, connect with nature. Also, if you have plants, be sure to water them, okay? I feel like it's not only about you. It's also about the things that you have around you. They may need a little bit of love. So let's see your overall energy for the mid-month. We have the Six of Wands, the Wheel of Fortune, and the Ten of Wands. Uh, I kind of feel like you are in the right direction. I feel like you are going on a very good place. Um, but I can't, I kind of feel like the universe might put you on a test for the rest of the month. Because we have the Wheel of Fortune, you know, changing things, things changing towards the Ten of, of Wands, which is a little bit of burdens. And I kind of feel like maybe some things from the past that may be reoccurring that you didn't totally finish and the universe is asking you hey you were on the right path you were doing really good but for you to go even further because you have that opportunity you have uh that possibility to go even further from where you are right now um for you to get there you kind of need to end some stuff okay from the past for some of you i feel like you could have also you could also be moving Okay, maybe you were too um, too much in your comfort zone and you may need to get out of there, okay? But let's see, finances and career, what do we have? A workaholic, right? And again, is that thing, I feel like you have been, um, and I love this, you have been putting a lot of work into, into work, <laughs> uh, but a lot of energy into work and it, it did pay out. Because, I mean, you have the six, the six of wands. So it did pay out. I feel like you are successful at work. But you may be letting go other issues. This could be about love. Maybe not. Um, could be insecurities, right? Because the next cards uh, would be acceptance, self-worth, soulmate. It's about facing your emotions, you know? Not having only that practicality of money and material things. Uh, but also taking a look and taking care, taking a look within and taking care of yourself, okay? Accepting yourself, nurturing yourself. And I kind of feel like those burdens might come up for you to do that, okay? But let's pull some tarot to see what this is about. Finances and career, what this copy <clears throat> need to hear right now. One more card, please. All right. So... Yeah, it's time to be a little bit wild, <laughs> to have a little bit of fun. I feel like this Ace of Cups really is cups, but really is love. You may have new beginning, new beginnings in love. Someone could be uh, coming back from the past. Uh, maybe it is someone completely different. We'll take a look um, at that when we when we check your love situation. But I kind of feel like you're going to reject it. Because you're such, you know, no, I gotta work, 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 that you actually reject it and you don't have a lot of fun. And I kind of feel like you getting out of work right now of that, um, I need to do this, you know, 
Because I kind of feel like you don't want to stop. Because if you stop, you're giving up. You're not. And I kind of feel like if, if you look away a second, when you look back, you actually have a new perspective of things. And you actually have more creativity. You have more um, passion for the things you do. Right? Trust. Trust your spirit guides in the universe. What else? What other message and advice for Kathy in regards to finances and careers? Can you give me one more, please? The situation is not what it seems. Follow your intuition. Um, again, I kind of feel like you're going to be put on a test. And I kind of feel like you should just give in a little bit. Because I don't feel like it's anything bad, you know? I don't feel like it's a tower moment. I kind of feel like it's to help you get out of this all workaholic situation and help you live a little. Okay, so let's take a look at love. That is happening in love for Puppy. We have honeymoon. So things moving. This for me is the six of wands. And again, I, I kind of feel like someone may be returning for some of you. Uh, let me actually pull one more. So we're to pull one more. Okay, release your ex. So that is the thing. Okay, so um, you may actually, someone may be returning, but you need to release it to face new love. Okay, because things are moving in a very positive way. Um, but I, I do feel like this is something from the past that you didn't quite want to look over again. You know, you just send the past into the past. I don't want to deal with that anymore. So your reaction is going to be ignore it and just focus on work even more. That may not be the solution. Okay, I do feel like you have to face it. You have to be like, okay, this is not what I want. So I'm going to totally cut it out totally left it behind and start moving into a new direction, you know, seriously putting an end to it, okay? Because I kind of feel like there was some sort of unfinished business in a way. But let's see. On your side, in this situation, what can you tell me about Cappy's side? Yep. Yeah. Give me one more. Yeah. Okay. And what about this other person's side? Okay. So there it is, that thing. And that new love could actually be with the same person. Okay, it doesn't matter. It's just it's a new it, it feels like new love because it, it doesn't have um this devil energy attached to it, right? On your side, we have the devil, the four of wands, and the higher, the four of swords, sorry, and the hierophant. So it's about taking care of that devil that I feel like it, this could be beliefs about love um, that you didn't really take care of. You need to do that. You need to heal from that. Uh, so you can actually go towards the hierophant too. So you can actually go towards um, a solid foundation in a relationship. Okay, there is something from the past, either be it this person or just beliefs about love. Um, and you kind of need to deal with it. You don't want to, but you kind of need to deal with it. Well, who am I to tell you what to do, but you really should. Okay, on your person's side, we have the Knight of Cups, the Three of Pentacles, and the Eight of Cups. So there is that thing of them returning, of them wanting to offer you something and being like, hey, let's, let's work on this together. Let's build something together. Let's try this out. But with this Eight of Cups here, uh, I'm not really sure if they are not going to do the same. And I kind of feel like... Ugh, I kind of feel like they may do the same. They, they may walk away. They may do whatever. But it is to end who they were. Right? This tens are about endings, right? And I feel like this whole situation is about putting an end to possibly not the relationship, but to the relationship that was. Because in the past, or even right now, um, there are, there is a lot of toxicity. There is a lot of... Um, 
bad beliefs about love. There is a lot of self-sabotage, possibly codependency, a lot of that. And that needs to go. So if you need to kill this relationship, kill it. Because if this person is to come back in the near future, it will come back a totally different person. It won't be the same relationship. Okay? It won't be the same relationship. Let me just clarify this Eight of Cups real quickly. Yeah. I kind of feel like they do want to try things out together, but there is that self-sabotage thing, right? That it, it just, it's not for you. And I kind of feel like they are protecting themselves too much. And when you say that, no, I gotta, I gotta kill this, I gotta kill this devil, they may get a little bit offended even and have a hard time seeing how they can work things out. Because I don't feel like this is toxicity from you. It's from your beliefs, okay? It's from your beliefs. It's not something, it's not that you are codependent. I don't really say it that way. I just feel like it's beliefs about love, that it's not letting you actually enjoy love. It's not actually, it's not allowing you to have fun, right? And to just enjoy this part of your life. And that needs to end. And when you say no, that is actually going to build that hierophant, right? But this person, I feel like, and in the beginning, it's going to be like, why are you saying no? Like, dude, you're wasting something really good. And they have a hard time realizing that they have some stuff to work on too, right? And that you need time to work on yourself, that they need time to work on themselves. And they have a hard time looking at that. I do feel like they will eventually figure it out and understand that, okay, maybe, maybe I do have some stuff to work on. Um... But I wouldn't take this opportunity when it shows up. Kind of feel like you wouldn't either way. But don't just ignore it. Actually face it. Okay? Let me see the outcome here. Yeah. <laughs> the sun also wants to come out. So it's like you finally find your match and you can finally enjoy love without fearing that it will break you apart, that it won't bring you happiness. Be it who, whatever, with whoever it is, okay? Be with this person, be with someone new. I feel like once you turn your back and actually face that devil, everything changes and a union may come way faster than you think. Because now you have this clear view and new perspective of love of like, hey, this can actually bring me happiness. Hey, this can actually be really fun. You know, love is actually not that bad. And I feel like you'll receive the person that you have always been waiting for. All right. So let's pull some messages and advice from the universe in regards to love. And then we'll pull some messages from this person. What do we have for copy? Yeah, oops. So it's that thing. Wake up and go now, go crazy. Yes, this is real. It's like your perspective will change and love it is worth fighting and pursuing. You just gotta give it time, okay? And right now, be a little crazy. Say no and then go flirt with another person. You know, just open your options and find out how it is to go out, how it is to flirt with someone. You know, because I feel like you have been working, uh, putting a lot of energy in work and you actually forgot what it is to flirt. You know, what does that even need? Um, because I feel like you're scared of getting hurt. You're scared of being surrounded with that devil energy again. But the universe is giving you this opportunity to clear that out and start fresh. And that you should really do, like, now. Okay? Once that opportunity shows up, do it. Alright? Because something way better is coming up. Way better. So, yeah. Bottom of the deck. Learn your lessons. 
So let's just pull some final messages from someone that you're connecting with or that you will be connecting with. I actually want to pull some messages, yeah, <laughs> from the person that you will be connecting in the future. Not necessarily this person. Alright, let's see. We already have a couple. So yeah, sorry to tell you, but it could actually be this person. Yeah, but I'll be there for you. I screwed up. Can you forgive me? I want to have a baby with you. And I can't do this. It's like... Right now, stuff really need to happen. I feel like they want to, but at the same time, they are self-sabotaging themselves and telling them like, oh, yeah, no, not gonna happen. Um, but at the same, they are really at the same time they're really in this. Okay, I want to have a baby with you. My mind has only you. You know, um, they're really, really here, but not like this it can't happen like this so right now you may really need to walk away uh i kind of feel like this person will come back again and yeah d deal with this deal with those things from the past that you didn't quite want to look at them give yourself time by doing that you're giving this person time to actually be able to do this um and then i feel like something really special is going to happen Capricorn okay it's like I don't I don't feel like you'll get I'm not sure if this is really going to be like life partner but if this is going to be a long-term relationship your next relationship I really strongly feel like it's going to be long-term relationship may not be forever but it is going to be very very special okay so Capi, this is what I have for you. I hope it resonated. Hope it helped somehow. And I'll see you in the next one, hopefully. Bye-bye.